Today on Hook the Future, we're fishing out of beautiful Palm Coast, Florida, catching some bluefish, some redfish, and everything else that swims with my good friend Captain Chris Herrera. Stay with us, guys. We got a great show for you today. Today we're launching out of Bing's Landing in beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. Nestled between St. Augustine and Daytona on Florida's east coast, Palm Coast is the perfect place to get outside and enjoy some of the fishiest inshore waters you could ever imagine. And I know just the guy who can put us on them, my good friend Captain Chris Herrera. Captain Chris has been guiding clients on world-class backcountry charters for years. Our anglers Dakota and William are fishy and ready for some fast action. As we run down the intercoastal on our way to a hot redfish hole, we hear that a huge school of bluefish have invaded the inlet. So we decided to take a ride at Fort Matanzas and see what we could find. We had no idea we'd be trying to catch bluefish, so we have no wire leader aboard. But we're gonna give it a try anyway and see if we can get lucky with some toothy blues. There you go, there you go, real, 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 get him holding. I caught a bluefish and it was about 25, 30 inches. The first time I put my hand on the reel, um, it didn't fight that much. That's a big old bluefish right there now. But then at the end, it started to fight a lot, and then the drag went out a lot, and then I reeled it in. Look at that big bluefish right there, man. Hold the pole up, don't point it at him. Keep him down, keep him like, look, there's another one right beside him. See it? You see the other one swimming right beside yeah. him? Whoa, was that cool or what? Man, what a big fish. Just keep him tight, keep him tight. Walk, hold the pole up, hold the pole up. Walk backwards a little bit. Man, hold the pull up. Well, when I caught the bluefish, I didn't know it was gonna be that tough to fight. So I went a little easy at first, then I then I um, went harder um, when it when it started to fight. There you go, reel a little bit more. Let's get a couple turns on him, man. This fish is not done. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Look at this big old blue. Whoo! Splashing us. Whoa, what are you doing getting Captain Don all wet back here, man? Man, it's a mean bluefish. Did you do that on purpose? No. Are you sure? Did you, do you think he did that on purpose, Dakota? I don't know, man. He splashed. Look at me back here. Back here trying to help him out. He's splashing me all over. Look at that. Man, he loved the fish bites, didn't he? Look at this fish. What, what's going on here now? All right. Walk backwards a little bit. Hold the pole up. Man, he's not done, buddy. You're gonna have to fight this fish a little longer. There you go. Whoa, don't pull, don't pull anymore. Man, look at that fish right there. He is not done. Walk backwards. <laughs> Walk backwards. Whoa. We got it to the boat. Captain Don tried to get it, and then it went back, and then I rode it again, and got it. Look at this fish. Whoa! That's what you call a bluefish right there, man. He loved the fish bites, didn't he? That is a monster bluefish right there, buddy. Give me a slimy five. What do you think of that? Is that the biggest bluefish you ever caught? Yes, sir. Kids can catch big fish. That's right, man. You caught one. Look at that awesome bluefish right there. Man, these bluefish have choppers. Look at that teeth right there, man. They will bite your finger good. He's loving the fish bites. Well, let's get him unhooked and let him go. I like fishing because you can catch huge monster fish and you can have fun doing it. Are you ready for this? Here he goes. Man, the guy's ready to go. This current's swimming hard. There he goes. Didn't take him long. Slimy five, man. Was that the biggest blue fish you ever caught? Yes, sir. Man, I got to give it to Dakota. After William landed his big blue, Dakota hooked up on fish after fish, only to have them bite through the leader time after time. Turn that handle. Oh, did he break off right there? Oh man, it's hard to get these guys with the mono. 
So he's using jig heads and mono. He just broke off right there. Took it. Took it all. He did good though, man. Slimy five. You didn't do anything wrong. Fish just bit it off. We had him. We had him. He did everything right, but the fish still broke off. Through all of it, he stayed positive and in the game. One of them he would have had in the boat for sure if I would have had the landing net on board. <sighs> Sorry about that, Dakota. Whoa, look at him jumping back there. Whoa, he just broke off. Oh, did you see him jump? Slimy five, man, what an awesome fish. I almost got on to the boat and the reel just snapped when we were about to get it onto the boat. Oh! Man, we gotta go get us something without teeth, don't we? Slimy fives, man, you rock. This guy right here, he's, he's putting them on. He's hooking them up, hooking them up, hooking them up, and they're just breaking us off, biting that leader. We're gonna change it up and head to the back country for some skinny water redfish when Hook the Future returns. Fishing is a sport because you can catch a lot of fish. You can also um, get your muscles worked out. Towards me, keep them tight, keep them tight, keep going. Man, you got him now, buddy. I like fishing because it is a fun sport and you can catch fish and then get home and eat them. Towards me, keep them tight, keep them tight, keep going. Man, you got him now, buddy. Keep them going, keep them going. Good job, Dakota, stay right there. Good job, man, good job. Whoa, this fish is going, just let him go. Don't reel against the drag. Hold the pole up, hold the pole up. Let him work that pole. There you go, hold it over this side a little bit and keep now reel on him. Good job, buddy, good job. Good job, keep him coming. Pull the pole up and then reel going down. Now, whoa, he's in the engine over here. Hang on, come this way, come this way. We're gonna have to go all the way over. Now he's coming back. Coming back this way. If I had the friend on Hook the Future tomorrow, I would tell him that it was very fun and you would like it. He's taking off. He is taking off. Now real. Ready? Now real. Good job, man. Good job, Dakota. Hang on to that pole. Hang on to that pole, buddy. Whoa. -ho. He's taking off again. Man, he is just screaming that drag, isn't he? Man, quantum smoke reels doing the deal. He's putting it on him. He's got the faith in Dakota. The secret of fishing is staying quiet and paying attention to the pole. You breathing over there? Yeah? Is he fun? Yes, what? sir. Yeah? Is this the biggest bluefish you've ever had? Yes, sir. I don't know, man. We've had some big ones today. Oh, man. Keep them crank. Keep crank, crank, crank. Just crank here. Pull up on him. Then on the way down, reel, 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 reel. Now stop. Whoa, whoa. He took it again. He is not happy, Dakota. He is not happy. We're going to have to get on the other side of the boat, I think. I like fishing with my family because I can help my sister um, casting the fish and reeling it in. All right, Dakota, man, you got a monster bluefish here, buddy. This is a monster. You feel pretty good? Yes, sir. He's in tight. He's right here now. We got him. Just take your time. Take your time. Pull up a little bit on the rod and then reel down. Reel going down. Now pull up a little slow and then reel going down. Slow. Don't force him. Take your time. Take your time. He's not done yet. It's a big fish, man. We got a light. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not getting no line on it. It's just a drag. If I had a friend who had never fished before, I would teach him how to fish and bait the hooks and show him what to do when you catch a fish and take it off of the hook. All right, there's the leader. Back up. Whoa, big blue fish. Don't let him wrap on that line. Back up just a little bit. Whoa, he's going again. We're going to reel some more. Well, he's not done. Come back up here. I thought we had him. Whoa. Let's go. Man. What do you think about this stuff? It's what do you think about people that say fishing isn't a sport? It is a sport. Why do you think it's a sport? Because you can catch another fish. Whoa. He's going to the other side again. 
You got him, Dakota? <laughs> Man, this is no easy fish, is it, buddy? Mm -mm. You got him? Just take your time. Remember how he was going to pull up on the rod and the reel going down? Don't give him any slack or he'll break off. That's the only way he can get off is bite that through that line or give him slack. Don't give him slack. Pull up, pull up, and then reel going, dip the rod and go down. There you go. Now stop, pull up, and reel a little bit going down. Get in between you here. Man, this fish is wearing us out. You got to have a seat, huh? <laughs> All right, keep him tight. You better stand up so you can move around. This fish is tough, man. We don't want to lose him out of the boat here. Keep reeling. Man, a lot of grunting going on, Dakota. This is a tough fish, huh? Yes, Look at sir. him right there. Whoa, that is one big blue. Whoa, it broke off right there. We had him, man, right there at the boat. Good job, Dakota. We'll be right back with more hot action from Palm Coast, Florida, when Hook the Future returns. On this week's Gotta Have It segment, you gotta have a Carolina skiff. If you've got a family and wanna have fun on the water, you gotta check out the boats by Carolina Skiff. Inshore, offshore, creek fishing, lake fishing, whatever you're into, they've got a boat for you. Carolina Skiff, anything is possible. Check them out today at carolinaskiff.com. This guy's like a reunion tour for me fishing with Crab and Chris here. Uh, Whoa, we yeah. fished a couple of shows with him over the years. I think the first one was like 12 years ago on the Flagler Beach Pier. Yeah. That's right, man. It's been an amazing time. Love Hook the Future coming to Palm Coast. Love showing these boys a great time. This is great. Fantastic. Stand up, stand up. Watch it. You right, got to go. Come on, this way to the left. This way. There you go. Good. Stand up and turn yours to the left. Let him get down on the floor right, right. Come on down here. He's good. He's good. Let him walk down so the camera can see you down here. there. All right, rotate this way, man. Just a little bit. Good job. Well, now he's going this way. Oh, gosh. Man, we got fish going everywhere. He doubled up on red fish. What do you guys think about this? Oh, my gosh. I know you're you guys are thinking, why don't we come here first? Here, come over here. You got to wait for this tide to get right. Swing him out to the side. Swing him out. Pull the pole that way to the side. Way to the side. Pull him this way right here, just like that. There you go. Real towards and pull. Real towards and pull. Good job. Good job. All right. That's it, no more reeling. Just pull him towards me this way. Pull him this way. Here, keep his head in the water. Oh, whoa, whoa, keep his head in the water. Oh, look at that, look at this. Nice guy. job, right man. We got a good one. Keep him over here. Let's get this other one. Swing him back this way. Is he coming back the other side? Go all the way over. Go all the way over. Keep going. All the way over. All the way over. It's my first fish that I caught today. Oh, man. You gave me a slimy five on that one. That was awesome. Keep him coming, buddy. How's he feeling up there, William? Or Dakota, who we got up there? William, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. William. Man, redfish everywhere. Here, let's set this pole down and get it out of the way. Holy. You want to hold your fish here? Put your palms up just like that there. Good job. Look at that. You hold that guy right there. Oh, man. Wow. Chris is going to get this one in for you, too, man. Look, Look at that. Fish. Towards me right here. Bring it up. Yeah, yeah. Keep swinging, swinging. Real towards the fish. Yeah. I've caught a couple of these guys. Good job. Good job, man. That's the way to do it right there. Lift up that rod a little bit. Lift up on it. Yeah, reel down towards the reel. Good job, good job. Swing, swing, swing. This is a nice fish. All right, don't reel anymore. Pull it back to him. Pull it back to him. There you go. Good job, man. All right, that's the way you catch redfish, boys. Man. Whoa. Whoa, look at that, huh? Well, you have a good size fish. Oh, That's a good size one. What do you think about that, guys? It was fun. Man, what are you going to tell people at home about coming fishing in Palm Coast? We caught giant blue fish, now we're catching red fish doubled up on a school, big blue bright tails. Those awesome fish, huh? Yes, sir. Nice yes, sir. job. Let me get you guys to go over to the side and let those fish go. Nice and easy. Slow, slow, slow. Get both of them over there. Wait. Yeah, just lay them down. Don't let them go to the ship. Just lay them in the water. It'll swim out of your hands. Just lay them down. Go, there. Man. I don't think I will. I don't think it will be able to. Yeah, you can. Just get on your knees. Oh, yeah. You're on your knees, yeah, you can reach down. There you go. <coughs> nice job, guys. Let guys. Let him swim right into the current, just like this. Watch. Watch him revive. You want to revive him. There he goes. He swims out of my hand. Hey, Slimy Fives. Great job. All around, man. You guys rock, man. Double header. Good job, Chris. Man, that's why I love fishing with this guy right here. Um, always puts you on the fish, knows where the fish are, knows Palm Coast like the back of his hand. You come down to Palm Coast, want to get away from it all, you got to book a trip with Captain Chris. Great job. Let's do it again. Great job. 
It's time to learn how to catch more fish with Eagle Claw's Tip of the Week. You know guys, when you come to a new destination and you're trying to find fish, even if you've got your own boat and you're going to go do it yourself, I highly recommend hiring a guide from that area so you can learn the water. They'd much rather teach you about what's going on than you try to follow them around and do it the wrong way. Learn the right way first, hire a guide when you come to a spot, you'd be glad you did. And that's this week's Eagle Claw Tip of the Week. Good job, man. Good job, Dakota. Good job, man. What a nice red fish. What you think about this, man? It's fun. Keep him over this way. Don't let him go that way, Dakota. Whoa! He's trying to knock me out of the boat. Whoa, he's going the other way. You got to reach around. Oh, reel, reel, reel. Keep him tight. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let him swing all the way around. Hold on to the pole. I'm just guiding you. I'm not going to grab it. Man, that fish is going nuts. He don't like this. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't reel anymore. Don't reel anymore. Whoa. Man. Nice red fish right here. That's what we want right there, buddy. Look at that. Nice job. Nice job. Give me a slimy pie. Awesome job, Dakota. Man, what do you think of that? Wanna hold him? Here, put one hand under his chin up there. There you go, and one on his tail. Now you can hold him and show the camera. There you go. The kids can catch big fish, huh? Kids can catch big fish. That's right, man. This guy right here can. Dakota can fish my boat anytime. That was fun, huh? Really? Man, these redfish in the creeks, they pull hard, don't they? Mm-hmm. All right, good job, buddy. Good job. Almost every one is different, you know, but usually they have at least one spot on. It's pretty rare for them not to have any spots at all. But this guy, take off here. Take him off. Real slimy five, buddy. What do you think about the redfish? It was fun. Yeah? Redfish, bluefish, all kind of stuff. We'll be back with more from Palm Coast fishing with my buddy Chris Herrera. Man, what a great day. Those redfish, they were biting a lot. They were hard to reel in, harder than I expected. And well, we got them in the boat, I got to hold it, and I didn't know it was that big, but then I felt awesome after I reeled it. That was the biggest redfish I've ever caught. Here, my buddy Captain Chris Herrera. Man, what a day. Man, fantastic day. I can't tell you, such a pleasure having you and Hook the Future come down and fish with me again. It's always a pleasure. I gotta say, man, I've been looking for it since the last time. You know, it's what, been four or five years since we've been back here, and it seems like it was a month ago. Yeah, I mean, and then before that, it was, what, 10 years ago was the first time yeah. we did a show in Flagler Beach? We had great times, great kids. I love the show. You're a great guy. Love it. This guy's been doing it a long time here, and, and you can see this place in Palm Coast is just a fishy, fishy place. I mean, there's always something biting in Palm Coast, isn't there? Oh, from those big blues at the end, wow, what a great bite that was, and then the reds up on the flats fantastic bite here in Palm Coast. So if, you were, if your family was coming down here and let's say they were coming down to Florida and going to Disney World and they want to take a side trip to Palm Coast, you know, what's the best time of year to come down here? I mean, I know every fish, there's always something biting here. Well, look, Florida is a year-round fishery, but I love the winter time. Spring break's great. You know, weather's perfect, the bugs aren't out, and there's plenty of redfish to be caught. Right, we're here the last week of March, first week of April right in here, and I gotta tell you, man, we caught all these fish. We left the ramp today at 3.15. It's not like we've been out here for three days trying to put fish for the film or all that. You know, if you watch Hook the Future, we go fishing and get what we get. But we got what we got today in about four hours. So, um, awesome day. These kids will never forget it, man, I gotta say. It was fantastic. You gotta book a trip with this guy. How can people get a hold of you? Very easily. You can go to my website, palmcoastfishing.com or you can just reach me on my cell, 386-503-6338. And I gotta say, right there at Bing's Landing, he's got the best barbecue in town too, tell him about that. So we got uh, Captain's Barbecue, we've been open six years, been ranked top 10 barbecue joints three years in a row by TripAdvisor, it's great. Uh, specialties is ribs, I'm sure we'll try some when we get oh, we back. we gotta get some ribs, yeah Absolutely. Man. I can't wait, what an awesome trip. Come down here, fish with Chris, taste some barbecue and bring a piece of old Florida back home with you and catch some fish, you're gonna have a great time. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah! Take a kid fishing and do your part to hook the future. You'll be glad you did. We're going to stick around until after dark and catch a couple more. Let's catch them, man. Let's go on. Slimy Fives to Dakota and William. They stayed in the game with great attitudes and caught fish all afternoon. Sometimes the greatest moments happen when the cameras are off. I wish we would have had the cameras on for the dark ride home. I caught the biggest redfish and bluefish I've ever seen. Can we be on Hook the Future again? This was the best experience of my life. Were a few of the comments from the boys. How blessed are we to be part of such a great memory for them? 
Big slimy fives to my buddy Captain Chris Herrera. What a great guy. His positive attitude kept the kids in the game all day and he put us on the fish. His knowledge of these waters is unsurpassed. If it swims around Palm Coast, Captain Chris can catch him. A day on the water with Captain Chris will definitely make you a better angler. I guarantee you he will deliver tight lines, great times, lifelong memories, and some of the best barbecue you've ever put in your mouth at Captain's Barbecue. So what are you waiting for? Give him a call today at 386-503-6338 or find him online at palmcoastfishing.com and bring your family down to Palm Coast for a trip you'll never forget. To find out how you and your family can take the same trip as you've seen on today's show and what's going on behind the scenes, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or Instagram. Send us your big fish photos with hashtag Slimy5 and we'll feature them on our social media.